and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be taking my grandma's old set and making it more modern. To Rahim's grandma and his dad actually bought this set from Pakistan and had it shipped over here I don't know about like 60 70 years ago so it's real oak wood solid oak wood it was so beautiful but it had a lot of wear and tear and we just they wanted us to use it we didn't have the heart to throw it away because it's so expensive but at the same time we were like it needs some serious revamping so we decided that we were gonna take her in this set into a brand new set i always wanted an emerald green set and that's why we went with it we were debating between emerald green or navy blue but you guys will see how we did it and if you guys like the video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and make sure you guys try it out on your set instead of throwing all of those away because those are those are a lot of work and they're very expensive so if you redo them it'll last you a lifetime so let's get into the video in three two one wait so before we get into this video, I quickly wanted to drop in here and share two products with you guys that has been doing wonders for my skin. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys have seen me mention this, these two products so many times before because I've been using them over the past few years. Um, but basically, it is the TV Green Tea Detox Mask coupled with the Vit C Serum. These two products together have been doing wonders for my skin. So as you guys know, I recently had a baby, um, Kareem, and my postpartum skin has been absolutely disgusting, like literally my pores have been so clogged and then it's coupled with really dry skin in these areas right here nothing seemed to really be working so I went back to these two products because I was already using them before and it has been helping my skin so much so basically I start off by using the green tea detox mask which helps clear out my pores and you know like just unclogs all of that gunk out of my pores and then I use the Vitsi serum which helps hydrate tighten smooths the complexion and brightens my skin you guys will see how good my skin looks at the end of this i'm going to actually apply it to my skin right now to show you guys what it looks like so to apply the teamy green tea detox mask i basically just take a little bit and then i use their little applicator to apply a thin layer over my problem area sometimes i like doing my whole face sometimes i just end up doing the problem areas so after applying the mask, I wait about 10 to 15 minutes for it to dry and you guys can literally see the pores come to surface. Let me zoom in so you can see it. Do you see that? Do you see how gross that is? But yeah, so then it comes to surface and you can literally see your skin clear up. I'm going to go wash it off and come right back to show you guys the results. You can see how much better my skin looks. Look at that. This looks so much clearer. My pores are so much clearer and my skin feels so much better. And it's gentle, so it doesn't leave my skin red or dry. Now for the next step, all I do is I take a few drops of the Vitsi Serum and I just smooth it out over my face. It's made with hibiscus flower, vitamin C, and hyaluronic acid. I love the glow that it leaves me. You guys will see. Watch. Look at that glow. It's glowing so much that the light is literally reflecting off of my face. Hold on, let me turn the light down. <laughs> Can you guys see the glow? Can you see the glow? It feels so good and it makes your skin so smooth and hydrates it all at the same time. Both the products work so well. I highly recommend them. You guys can use my code SUBA2 for 20% off and I'll leave the links in my bio so you guys can go and check it out. I love using these two products at least two times a week right before I go to bed. So make sure you guys go check them out too. Now let's get right back into today's video. Okay guys, so for the first step, we took out all of the knobs and the handles because we are going to be using new handles that I'm going to be ordering. You'll see them later on in this video. But yeah, we took all of those off. Anywhere where the drawers were loose or there were pieces coming off, I made sure to nail it back in. I actually took wood filler. There were a lot of cracks and stuff. So I took wood filler and I filled in all of those holes. We started 
off by first sanding the whole thing down, stripping all the varnish and just starting off blank. Then we started on the paint. So for the paint, I chose the color forest green. Um, I'll leave it down below if you guys want to go check it out. But I was debating between a navy blue and a forest green, but forest green ended up winning because everyone loved it. If you are painting it, I do recommend that you prime the whole piece, but because we stripped it down a lot and there wasn't any varnish left, I thought, you know what, I'd rather just do an extra coat of paint. So I did two coats of paint on each piece. I started off with the big pieces and then the small ones, but I did two coats on each piece and then I went in with a roller for the final one. Between each coat for the tops of the table, I did go in and lightly sand it so that there's no lines or any streaks going through. the painting process was done I wanted all the tops of the side tables the dressers the vanity that's baby Dean being excited um, I wanted the tops of the dressers the vanity the side tables all to be kind of like have like this varnish coat so I put a really thin layer of varnish and buffed it out just because I know there's gonna be a lot of stuff that's gonna go on and I don't want anything to happen to the paint even though the paint was amazing I just want to make sure that there was a coat on top to protect it all in. I bought these knobs and these handles to put into all of the drawers as well as the tables or anything that needs to pull out. So I screwed all of those in. And with my knobs and my handles on, this is what it looks like. It was actually super easy to do and it saved us thousands and thousands of dollars. If you guys try it out and if you guys do, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and let us know in the comment section below. And I think that's about it for today's video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. But until then, people, take care. Keep smiling and peace.